Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Thanks so much for joining me. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to soften up your winter skin with a solid sugar scrub. This recipe is adapted from the very popular one off the Soap Queen blog designed by Erin Picor of Nyad Soaps. I'm tweaking the recipe just a little bit to show you how to make these super cute scrubs. It just takes a little bit of sweet almond oil, melt and pour, colorant, fragrance, and white sugar. For today's recipe, we're going to be using the yummy, delectable dessert fragrances from the Soapy Love fragrance line available at Brambleberry.com. Sounds easy? Yeah, that's because it is. Let's get started. I love this recipe because it's super easy to make. The white sugar in there exfoliates gently for your skin. The melt and pour cleans, and the sweet almond oil leaves your skin feeling moisturized and silky smooth when you're all done. For this project, we'll be making two bars of strawberry scented pink sugar scrub, two bars of chocolate scented brown sugar scrub, and two bars of vanilla scented white sugar scrub. I'm gonna show you how to make the strawberry scrubs and then let you do the rest on your own. It's very important for this recipe to be successful that you weigh everything out. So, I'm going to weigh out 3 ounces of shea butter melt and pour, 2 ounces of sweet almond oil, and 6 ounces of white sugar. Next, melt your soap base in the microwave for 35 seconds. While the soap base is melting, Add 20 drops of strawberry fragrance oil from the Soapy Love Delectable Desserts line and 20 drops of vanilla color stabilizer to your sweet almond oil. Pull the warm soap out of the microwave. Add one drop of undiluted hot pink lab color. Combine the soap and sweet almond oil and fragrance oil mixture. Stir well. There will still be a little bit of oil floating to the surface. Don't stress out about this. The next step is super time sensitive. Make sure your soapmolds.com slimline rectangles are all ready to go on your table. You only have 15 to 20 seconds to pour after this next step. Add the six ounces of white sugar to your soap. Now stir, stir fast. Okay, see how gelatinous and gloppy this looks? It's time to pour. Pour into the soap molds, fill them up to the top, Quick, pour into the next one, remember this fills up too, and you're done. If this soap scrub mixture hardens up on you, it's okay. Go ahead and melt it in the microwave for 20 seconds just to soften it back up. Pour that into your soap molds. Try not to reheat it too many times because the sugar can dissolve into the melted soap. Let this cool and repeat for the chocolate and the vanilla portions. For the chocolate, I use chocolate fudge fragrance oil, cappuccino mica, and clear melt and pour soap base. For the vanilla, I used vanilla frosting from the Soapy Love Delectable Desserts line, no colorant, and shea butter melt and pour, and of course that all-important vanilla color stabilizer so the white stays white. I made these in advance, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to pop them out, cut them, and package them in a very cute and attractive manner. Flip over the soap molds, push gently with the heel of your palm, and boop, they come out. That extra oil makes them nice and slippery. Then cut into thirds. Or, if you'd like, you can cut into six little cubes, and I'll show you how to do those next. Once you have all three colors cut, it's time to make our Neapolitan ice cream. There are so many variations, but I'll show you two of my favorites. Here's one that you can easily do just cutting these into thirds. Here's one that you can do if you cut these into cubes, alternating the colors. Package them by just putting them in cellophane bags, tying off with a ribbon, cutting off that excess cellophane. You're done. Aren't they adorable, perfect for gift giving, selling at holiday fairs, or keeping for yourself? Until next time, thanks so much for joining me today on Soap Queen TV. Happy soaping.